Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Starfield. We're going to be going with Walter on this episode to complete his mission for an artifact. Seems like we'll be completing some sort of trade deal. Neon, you say? Yeah, looks like we're landing in a town called Neon. If you missed our last episode, we completed Sam Coe's Wild West adventure for an artifact. All right, it seems like we've actually come to a bit of a city this time. Should be exciting. Nah, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. And there are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred even for something like this. I wonder what he meant by chasm ass. Can't wait to get up there and see what this city looks like. This might be a good place to stop back to to sell things later on. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run. Yeah, seems like there's a lot of stores here. Some people know it. I spent too much time trying to stop bad guys here. I will definitely be returning back here to buy and sell and do all sorts of things. Benjamin Bayou is so not compensating for anything. Beatlemaniac. Astral Lounge. I mean, confession time, I used to blow off some steam there. Bad idea. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Strout? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. About our business here. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? 
So our meeting is at the Astro Lounge. A remarkably Lounge. insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. All right, change the doors, case the lounge, got I hate it. I being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. All right, let's go set up security for this meeting. Kind of going into this blind, so I hope it won't be too complicated. Mind you, I've been going into this whole game blind, so I guess we're at as much of a disadvantage as always. Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh, no thanks. Isn't it illegal? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Uh, we prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here. We'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? We can't be zoned out for our meeting. We're a little worried about security. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. All right, just tell us about security. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. So if I need them on my side during a fight... Can we control the doors? I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Alright, so how do we get security on our side? Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. All right. He gave us money for we this at least. Strive for setting the most reasonable rate. You lower the fee, we'll come back. Spend money here later. I'm sorry, but our policies demand even high profile customers pay our fees. A 
loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. All right, I think we're done with this guy. I don't think he's going to give us control nice of the doors. Thing. We're going to have to figure out a way to take over the doors ourselves. Let's try heading up there, see if we can hack into anything. Lounge is cool, but I still think Mass Effect did it better. Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Ah, uh, here we go. This should help. Remote door control. Looks like we have control over the doors now. Okay, we can see the book room's been booked by Boone Morgan. Doing, doing the thing? Hell, I got no idea how hackers speak. Okay, anything else we got to do up here? Yes. Well, out with it. Okay, that's the administrator. Don't really want to get involved with him. He's probably going to give us a side quest. relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains. I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tie or someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. All right, let's get this going. How are the preparations coming? It's done. Let's start this meeting. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation, just in case. Good luck, all of you. She seems to be his better half. Ready to party? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Enjoy Here's the yourself. code word. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll see you up there. I don't think he realizes we kind of have him cornered with security. I'm up for a little adventure. Bye. New adventure out of our way. Just walk by. Good job. One step closer to our goal.
Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Works for me. Let's get the artifact. This will be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. All right, which room is he going to be in? So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Standing's fine. Deal with it. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? We can chip in with bullets. What the? Security! Now you're trapped and security's with us. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. One of a well, kind. We have like six of Some these. Pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Go on. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Not gonna happen. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Well, it's not going to let us fast travel. Had to check, but... Seems like it's not going to let us leave till we deal with this Slayton character. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. They impounded Great. our ship? Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. No appointments, no talking. If they took our ship, they all die. I'm gonna shoot my way through this office building. Time to go teach these guys what happens when they mess with our ship.
I'm just gonna keep killing people till our ship is free. Yeah, even the robots die. This time you really messed with the wrong person. Might be a customer, but they're still armed. Yeah, we've kind of made all our money looting the dead. Usually nothing good in these lockers. I've kind of stopped opening them. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Got I'm it. aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. All right. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end. Pass the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Gross. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, stretch across through the door. This better not be another trap. Another 
right up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now. Let me just get that for you. Security is on full alert. Oh, we took the wrong turn. Right, I think they all ran away. We do what we must, right? Never mess with a code. Alright, now we just gotta find this guy's office. <laughs> now we're talking. Told you, everyone's gonna die until they give us our ship back. Where is Sam? We gotta unload some stuff. We're getting way too over encumbered. Yeah, it's starting to affect our stamina, so we gotta unload some confess. things. If you're looking for something in particular, I might have a spare. Yeah, I was done too. Seems like our companions just act as a pack mule to carry our stuff most of the time. They're not real useful for much else. Well, we're going to be able to buy a new ship in no time. We keep picking up all these guns. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Ah, it 
It seems you have chosen more violence. Very well. Yes, we woke up and chose violence today. Alright, I think just about everything is dead. Yeah, I should pretty much do it. There might be one or two of them left. Anyway, we're just going to loot all their stuff and go get our ship. So I think we'll end it here. Anyway, we'll see you next time with more Starfield. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.